there's been a lot of attention put on breaking free from pornography or dealing with the harms of pornography and not nearly enough attention put on YouTube and the minefield that YouTube truly is. Now, this hits close to home for me because when I was like 11 or 12 years old, I got my first iPod and that was my gateway into online lust. That was where I had access to look up this stuff. And even when I wanted to break free, even when I wanted to get rid of it, even when I would say, God, I'm never going to look at any of this stuff again. I just couldn't. I, I, I would look up this stuff again and I couldn't figure out a way to confess what was going on. I couldn't figure out a way to actually deal with it. Because I had this minefield that was always next to me that I could walk through at any point that would lead me to this sin. No, that's why when I got this comment and, and a number of comments from different people on social media and on YouTube that they said, hey, I'm deleting YouTube or I've been, you know, off YouTube for a number of months and it's been really good. I've been really, really excited for them. And I think this is an amazing thing. Why? Why? As a YouTuber, obviously, I want as many people to subscribe to me and watch my channel as possible. So why am I happy that these people are deleting these social medias and getting off? Well, it actually begins in Mark. In Mark 9, 43 it says this and if your hand causes you to sin cut it off it is better for you to enter life crippled than with two hands than to go to hell to the unquenchable fire and if your foot causes you to sin cut it off it is better for you to enter life lame than with two feet to be thrown into hell and if your eye causes you to sin tear it out it is better for you to enter the kingdom of god with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into hell so what does this mean for us does this mean okay if you're struggling with pornography gouge out your eyes well what is a practical step that we can take and these young men at least and i know young women i encourage you to do this as well if this is your temptation these young men are taking the step of deleting YouTube. And that's a big thing. I don't know about you guys, but I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I, I, I work on YouTube. I th This is how I, I provide for my family. Maybe it's your primary news source or it's where you get your entertainment or education. And the idea of deleting it just seems so ridiculous. And I understand those excuses. I understand those things. I was in the same place when I was struggling with looking up stuff online as a teenager on YouTube. I'd make those excuses and I would say, well, I use it for so many other things. I use it for school. I use it for, I, I can't, of course I can't delete it. But I would just bring you back and I'd bring myself back to this passage in scripture. You know, Jesus is saying, gouge out your eye if it causes you to sin. Take off your, your hand, take off your foot. Like obviously you do other things with your foot. Obviously, you do other things with your hand. You, you know, use it to work, you use it to play, you use it to grab things, you use it to cook. And yet Jesus is saying, it's worth making the sacrifice of not being able to do those things with that hand than for you to continue on in this sin. So what does this mean for us? It means that deleting social media is worth the sacrifice if it means protecting you from going into temptation. This is a hard truth. This is a hard truth. And I, I personally, like... I've struggled with making this ma move, making this move of saying, hey, if this leads me into temptation, I'm just going to straight up delete it. When I was 18 or so, I had a Twitter account for a long time. That was one of the first social medias that I got on. For some reason, I just really enjoyed tweeting and sharing my uh, dumb opinions as a 13-year-old. That's when I got on there. But as an 18-year-old, I began to kind of discover and come across more and more sexualized content and realizing that this was not going to be good for me. This is not you know, something that I want to be seeing on my feed or have access to at all. So I deleted it. I deleted it. I haven't looked back for seven years or so. And people are saying all the time, oh, you know, you should get on X or whatever it's called now. You should get on X and, you know, you should try to like get your writings out there and you could really blow up and do something for the ministry. Ultimately, I was like, no, actually, I'm not going to even open myself up to there because there's explicit pornography on X and on those places that I just don't want to expose myself to. You need to be able to make these calls and make these sacrifices because ultimately your relationship with God should be primary. And this is hard for me too, like to realize, okay, I need to actually sacrifice something. I need to actually sacrifice something. In our Western culture, I mean, for me, it's like, we, we, it's just cozy, right? Our relationship with God just feels cozy in a lot of ways. We, we're not really stretched. The idea of picking up your cross, denying yourself and following Jesus, it Maybe, oh, you know, it's like I got to go to church on Sunday. I got to drive in my nice car, you know, to church and air conditioning and then get out and do more air conditioning and listen to praise and worship songs and listen to a message like, wow, my life is so hard. No, this is a key moment where you can sacrifice something. I want to challenge you guys. If it's a temptation for you, if Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, X, whatever is a 
is something that is may causing you to stumble, then delete it. Delete it. I'm not saying that those temptations will totally go away, but that's a practical step that you can take. I want to offer you something as well. This is Covenant Eyes. Covenant Eyes is a accountability software that you can install on your computer that will give a report to someone in your life, a monthly report of your internet usage. This is an extra piece of accountability that I think is going to be really, really helpful for you. It's helped, helped many people break free from this online lust. And you can get it for 30 days free if you click the link in my description and sign up there. It's an affiliate link, so it also helps the ministry by you signing up. So I, I hope it'll help you as well. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this channel. I, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you're looking for more advice on how to break free from lust, I have many videos on my YouTube channel that you can just scroll and check them out. And uh, until next time, God bless.